How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now. I've been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close friends say, if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. Welcome to Hancock's VMware Half Hour. Thanks for joining me for another video. And if you've been following these recent videos, um, I'm going to practice what I preach. And I said that I was going to go back and I was going to have a little look at some of the common questions that come up on Xbox Exchange. And uh, we'll have a little look at each and every one of those questions and I'll do a video about it. Um, so today we're going to have a little look at what do we do when we forget our ESXi password. Okay, so we're only human. Um, it's happened to me, um, you set a password on ESXi, you don't record it and you forget it, you can't get back into the host. Uh, sometimes, uh, this has certainly happened to me, um, you have got it documented, you're absolutely convinced that you never changed it and no matter what you do via SSH um, or uh, connecting via the HTML client, um, you cannot connect to your ESXi host. Uh, it does not accept the root password. Uh, occasionally, I have seen occasions when the ESXi storage system becomes full and it will cause you issues. Um, and on occasions, I've seen mapping, keyboard mapping issues as well that will prevent you logging into an ESXi host. So, um, VMware Broadcom um, will tell us that there is no magic password reset button. There is also only one supported method, um, according to Broadcom slash VMware, of resetting the ESXi root password. It's not really a reset ESXi password, it's actually reinstallation of the ESXi host OS. And we're gonna do that in the next video. So this is sort of kind of method one, and we'll look at method two in the next video. So in method one, I'm going to use something called host profiles. So one, if your ESXi host is still connected to vCenter server and it's still powered up um, and you have access to it because it's being managed by vCenter server, we can use host profiles, if you're licensed for host profiles, to change the password of that host quite easily. And this is what we're going to do in this video. Now, you may be wondering that I've got Notepad here and I've got a load of gobbledygook. Um, that's the password I'm actually going to use because it's a little bit awkward really sort of kind of demonstrating to you that I have actually changed the password to that. So you, uh, I can do that by cut and paste into, into an SSH session or cut and paste into the, um, into the, the host, um, host connection with a browser. So what I'm going to do just to prove, first of all, um, that that password is currently not set. Um, I'm going to connect directly to the host. And, uh, and don't forget, you can do this. Uh, again, I had a question the other day where somebody was struggling and I sort of kind of suggested, well, why don't you actually basically connect directly to the host? Um, it's generally not recommended if it's being managed by a VMware vCenter server. Um, been changing the password so many times that that isn't the password. So I've just remembered what the password is that I changed it to. So here we are, um, ignore all that. Uh, we are now connected directly to the uh, host via the HTML client. And one of these somewhere will turn around and remind us that the host is being managed by VMware and vCenter server. Actions may be performed automatically by vCenter server without your knowledge. And also, if you get it, if you if you do things um, on the HTML client, 
the HTML client inventory and the vCenter server inventory can, can sort of kind of get out of date. So anyway, so I've just actually logged in directly. I'm going to log out again. And I'm going to specify, and I'm going to go back to my notepad here. And I'm going to use that new password we're going to set. And I'm just going to paste that there. Say log in. Okay, cannot complete login due to an incorrect username or password. What we would actually expect. So let's pretend that we've actually forgotten our password. So what simply I'm going to do, um, I'm going to right click a host, any host. I'm going to click host profiles and I'm going to select extract host profile. I'm going to give it a name. So let's call it ESXi. ESXi002 host profile. So this is just going to copy uh, the configuration of one of our hosts to a host profile. Then we can edit that host profile. Um, then we can attach that host profile to an ESXi server within our cluster. Um, we can then enter maintenance mode, we can then remediate it, and it will then change the password on that host. Simples. Okay, so I'm going to now basically just have a little look at the, the particular host profile. So we've already got one, one there, ESXi001. So I'm going to edit this profile. So I'm just going to suggest edit host profile. Now, we don't want to change any of these other settings on our hosts. So we just want to change security settings, security and services, security settings, uh, user security, user configuration. So I don't want to change any of that. I don't want to change any of that. Um, I don't want to change the role or lockdown. I just want to basically change the, the root password. So I want to fix password configuration. So I'm going to go back to my, my notepad, which is where I've had this generated password. I'm just going to paste that password there and I'm just going to paste that password there and I'm going to click save. So we've extracted a host profile from a host in our cluster. Uh, we've edited that host profile. We've edited and set a fixed root password. So now I'm going to go back to my inventory. I'm going to go to my, my host where I forgot the password. So I'm just going to put the maintenance mode. It hasn't got any virtual machines running on it anyway at the moment. So I'm just going to put that into maintenance mode. While well, that's waiting to do that, I'm now going to basically go to host profile. I'm now going to attach, I'm going to detach a host profile because I've already got a host profile attached to it. So I'm going to select host profile, attach a host profile. So I'm going to select that host profile that we just, we just modified. I, I changed the password. So I'm now going to go to host profile. I'm going to select remediate. I'm going to do a pre-check remediation. And then once that's completed, I'm going to remediate it. And it should immediately change the password on that host to the new password that I've set. And again, we're sort of kind of pretending here that I don't actually know. So I'm going to now select remediate. I'm going to select remediate. Um, so sort of kind of pretending here that I don't know what the password is. Um, and I'm using host profiles here 
to actually remediate that host and set that password that's actually specified in that host profile. Um, so if we now basically have a little look, batch apply host config configuration, that's actually completed. So if we go back to our host, um, I was going to drop out of that because I'm just going to type the original password that I thought it was just to sort of kind of prove this. And that's actually basically turning around and telling me that it cannot log in due to incorrect username or password. So if I come down here to my trusty notepad and I grab that password that I generated earlier, which is actually in our host profile, and I paste that there now and I click login, there we go. Simples, so just to summarize, um, if you wake up one morning and you need to SSH into your ESXi host and for whatever reason, the password that you have, which you believe is the root password, you can no longer get into your host, providing that host is actually basically powered up um, or even if it's not powered up, but if it's actually powered up and being managed by a current vCenter server session and your license for host profiles, then you can follow that method that I've just shown you there as to how easily you can actually basically reset your EXXI password. So, an incredibly quick one there. Um, certainly not a Hancock's VMware half hour. We've managed to cover that one in about 10 minutes. Um, so, once again, if you lose or forget your ESXi root password, you can certainly use host profiles um, within VMware vCenter server when you have an ESXi, ESXi host connected to the server uh, to be able to reset your password. So come back in the next video that we're going to do, method two, um, which is formally, I think the sort of kind of the unsupported or supported method that's published by VMware Broadcom uh, of reinstalling the ESXi host software. Now you would do this if um, you're, you had no access to VMware vCenter server because VMware vCenter server was broke or VMware vCenter server could actually be on the host um, and it's not currently powered up and you can't actually access the host. Um, or vCenter server could be down and corrupted and you've got no way of managing and you've got no access to ESXi anyway, um, then you could do what we'll call what we'll call method two. So anyway, thanks so much for watching this video and come back for uh, method two as to how we recover an ESXi host password, root password, but we don't really, we're just gonna reinstall um, but what I really want to demonstrate and really what I want to show you is that by a lot of people are very fearful of re reinstalling ESXi because they, they think that they're going to do something really, really dangerous and they're going to lose all their virtual machines. Um, you, uh, you, you're not. Anyway, so once again, thanks so much for watching and a good night.